and gave for Japan uh, some real hope. Of course, with Japan hosting the Paralympic Games in four years' time, along with the Olympic Games finishing eighth on day two in the men's C2 3000 metre individual pursuit. He'll also be in the road race and the time trial, meaning with the team sprint, he's competing in all five disciplines. The exuberance of youth, eh? So the Japanese athlete is away. Kawamoto, he is a C2 athlete. That is his classification. And, uh, Down the back straight he goes. And at this stage, 1.461 outside of the benchmark. But it looks as though he's just starting to wind it up. And this is what we saw from him in the individual pursuit. Never say die, and look at that, he's starting to just claw back that time now. And he still has a fair portion of this time trial to go. 1.896, he'll start to hurt shortly, but he needs to keep this momentum up. Slowly but surely, 1.7. So pairing it back just a little there from 1.8 to 1.7. Let's get another update and see how he's tracking again. He's gaining ground here. So the time to beat, 58.842. He's well, 1.7, so he's holding that form at the moment. So tough. You have to keep the speed, but you just have to keep the endurance and try and stay at that top level the entire time. The crowd cheering him down the back straight comes in towards the turn. The time to beat for his classification, 117, 1.3 off the pace. So once it's ratified, 113.802 for Shota. Kawamoto and that puts him at this stage in second place.